hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome to my channel and i hope you're here to stay i hope you subscribe okay so you know i was thinking you know a lot of my subscribers have been hitting me up you know and telling me you know they're still in the process of transitioning or you know they want a big chop but they're scared and stuff like that now i've been there so i thought you know what like, why not do a video and you know give some advice or some tips on you know what you should know before you actually big chop things that I wish someone would have told me um, before I actually big chop but um, I came up with about 12 things that are very important um, for you to know before you big chop so number one is do your research but do not overwhelm yourself and you know obviously you're gonna be tempted to look at a lot of YouTube videos you're gonna be tempted to go on Google and research and do this look at products first thing that you should try to find out is what hair type you have and you you can go on Google you can go on YouTube and you just type in you know hair types if you're transitioning you would already see your curls form or you can even find out I mean if you've been relaxed since you know you were younger your mama might be, able to, might be able to tell you, you know, what type of curls you have, whether it's tight curls, loose curls. If you're transitioning, you would be able to know the type of hair texture you have already. When you find out what type of hair you have or you're close to, you think you know what type of hair you have, then is when you narrow down your research and then you look at ways to take care of your type of hair how is your hair going to grow and you know how is it going to look and stuff like that you know don't overwhelm yourself and just go here and there and say i wonder if my hair type is like this i wish my hair would look like this everyone is different and as long as you accept that your hair is not like the person another person you will be fine number two if you're going to cut your hair yourself make sure make sure you get a new scissors or a really good scissors and do not use a kitchen scissors do not use a paper scissors do not use those stationary scissors please use a scissors that's meant to cut hair when I was big chopping my hair I started cutting my hair I did it myself and I started cutting my hair using one of those stationary scissors and it was not it was dull and you know I ended up you know cutting more hair than I needed to cut if you know what I mean because it was so uneven it was a mess and you know I should have gone to a hairstylist or I should have had someone cut my hair that would be my advice to you I mean you might think yeah you can just cut off your relaxed ends but I did that but I had to end up the next day going to a hairstylist to, for her to finish it because I did not get all of the straight ends off my hair looked uneven my hair looked horrible so I still had to end up and go to a hairstylist to get my hair cut so have someone do it for you or go to a hairstylist to get it cut properly and then the hairstylist might be able to style it you know give it a nice cut instead of your hair being uneven this side is longer that side is longer because that can happen okay so number three you are going to be in shock and I cannot stress this enough like you're either gonna be emotional or you're gonna be angry or you're gonna be very happy and excited and you have to ex you have to expect some sort of emotion for my for my case I was very emotional like I cried because I've never had short hair I've never had hair that short and you know I was asking myself you know what did I do am I crazy and then I got upset with myself I got upset with my hair and I think for an entire week I was very emotional I was depressed I was upset you know I was like all over the place so be prepared for that or kind of you know mentally tell yourself that you know i'm gonna do this and you know it's gonna be okay you might be shocked at first but try to pump yourself because 
I went in, I wasn't going to do it. My big chopped my hair that day, like it was not planned. I have a game plan. Like know when you're gonna cut your hair. Like do not just jump into, just wake up one day and be like, oh, I'm gonna cut my hair. Don't do that at all. Because you're gonna be setting yourself up to be emotionally distraught. Uh, you know, tell yourself, you know, okay, if I cut my hair, I'm gonna cut my hair next week. I'm gonna have a wig just in case. I'm gonna have some hats just in case or I'm going to you know set make an appointment for a hairstylist I'm gonna have someone there with me in case I get so upset you know like have a game plan like don't just jump into it just don't just wake up one day and be like yes I'm gonna do I'm gonna um, cut my hair today don't do that you're going to when you just big chop you're going to experience extreme dryness and you will never experience extreme dryness like when you first big chop. I promise you. Um, this does not last. My hair, you see the, the texture of my hair. You see the, my hair is very soft right now on my curls. I don't even need to put products in it for my curls to be showing and stuff like that. But when I just big chopped, my hair was so dry. Like I was frustrated by how dry my hair was. I would put coconut oil, I would put moisturizers, conditioner, leave-in conditioner constantly throughout the day and my hair would just be consistently dry. Like there was no explanation, no one can tell me why, but then I realized that it happens to everyone who big chops. Like as soon as you big chop, your hair is going to be extremely dry and this is going to be for about, you know, a week or two weeks or something like that. But just be prepared for that and don't fight yourself don't fight your hair don't get upset with your hair it is normal you will not know what to do with your hair and you'll be wondering like you know where are your curls and that's okay you will be you know trying a lot of things and this all goes back to having a game plan and when you first big chop you're obviously it's obviously a new chapter and you're obviously gonna have to learn how to do your hair again and do what is best for you so don't go looking at someone else and be like you know why isn't my curls look like that well, why, why don't my curls look like this embrace your curls embrace your hair accept it and then it will get easier be prepared that when you go natural your hair is gonna take longer to do. So if you, you know, you think your hair took long when you when you were relaxed, no. It's gonna take even longer to do now that you're natural. A lot of people think, you know, oh, I'm gonna go natural, I'm just gonna, you know, get up, shake my curls out and just go, mm -mm. or I'm gonna just get up, you know, you have a TWA. A TWA, for those of you who don't know, is a teeny weeny afro, that's the definition for it. So a lot of people think, you know, I have a TWA and I'm just gonna get out of bed, I'm jumping in the shower, I'm gonna wet my hair and I'm just gonna go and everything is gonna be smooth. No. It's going to take a lot of time to do your twist outs at night, you're going to be twisting your hair, braiding your hair and then in the morning you're going to have to be taking your hair out and fluffing your curls and doing this and doing that and then you're conditioning, you know, you have to basically be conditioning your hair different, shampooing your hair different, deep conditioning which is very important. You're going to have to be doing that more often, taking more time to do it. So it's gonna be a lot more work. So you have to be prepared for that and you have to make time in your schedule for your hair. Trust me, you probably laugh and think like, why would you make a schedule for your hair? But trust me, you're gonna need a schedule for your hair. <laughs> okay, I can't remember what number I'm on, but um, you do not need to have a lot of products. Now, a lot of people think, you know, they need to go out and they need to get all these things. Like I was, a product junkie when I just big chopped my hair there are only a few products that you actually really need you don't need to be going out and buying a lot of stuff and you know have things packed up and then you're gonna confuse your hair and then you're gonna be using so many different product products that you won't know what your hair likes or what your hair loves and you don't know what would work for your hair what is it that's growing your hair you don't know because you have so many products what it is what is it that's making your curls soft and look nice 
because you have too many products. When you're just big chopping, or before you big chop, get a good conditioner, get a good shampoo, get a good deep conditioner or deep mask treatment, get a spray bottle, some sort of oil, and a curl enhancer. That is all you need. So next thing that you need to do is, <laughs> I did this, hide your hair tools. Hide your blow dryer, hide your flat iron, hide your curling iron. Hide them or get rid of them. Do not have things around that's gonna remind you of your straight hair or when you had straight hair. Or that's gonna tempt you to wanna straighten your hair or blow dry your hair. Hide those stuff immediately after or even before you big chop. Your TWA, your teeny weeny afro, you need to know that this stage of a big chop or this stage of the natural hair process can last from anywhere to one year to four years. Keep that in mind. Depending on the hair, hair type, um, depending on what type of hair you have, your hair is going to be in the T or looks like it's in the TWA stage for quite some time. And what this means is, depending on your hair type, your hair is going to shrink up. Really, really shrink up. You know, a lot of people, you know, they will do a wash and go in their hair. Let's say, for example, for someone who has like 4B hair or something like that, 4B, 4A hair. And they would do a wash and go or something and their hair would, sh you would swear they have a TWA, like a, a, an afro. But if you stretch that person's hair, it's gonna be very long. So depending on your hair type, you're gonna be in the TWA stage for a very long time. And that's okay, like, who doesn't love the TWA stage? You're gonna love, trust me. When you big chop, you know, when your hair starts growing, you're gonna start to miss the TWA stage. You're gonna start missing the times when your hair was very short. Believe me, I miss those days that I didn't appreciate when my hair was very short. Remember that products that you used on your relaxed hair, products you used before your big chop, they might not work on your natural hair. So get rid of those, they're not gonna work. You know, a lot of products that we used when we had relaxed hair, you know, let's say for example, um, Motions and Optimum, is that, um, I think that's what it's called. I'm not sure, correct me if I'm wrong. But you know, those products are meant for, you know, relaxed hair and that's gonna protect against the chemicals and you know, stuff like that. You cannot use those in your natural hair. You can't, they're not gonna do anything for you. You need to go towards more natural products. Remember, remember, I stress, I stress this in almost all of my hair videos. Use products whose first ingredients is water 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 remember that when you big chop the first thing that you're thinking about is growth right like you know you want your hair to grow so bad or grow 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 but now more than ever when you big chop your hair is going to need protection and what i mean by this is you cannot and i'm <laughs> when i just big chop or before i big chopped you know i wanted to um, you know when you have relaxed hair, as soon as you get in the house, you just wrap your hair up. Like you wrapped your hair and you put on your um, your satin scarf or whatever and your bandana or whatever. Like you would not lie down for a little bit without wrapping up your hair when you had relaxed hair. It's the same thing with your natural hair. You know, I thought, you know, when I have my natural hair, I can just like go to bed and just wake up and shake my hair off and my hair is good. No. If you can do that, that's your choice, do that. But if you want your hair to grow, and if you want your hair to not break, do not do that. Protect your hair all the time. Do not go to bed without either sleeping on a silk um, pillowcase or covering your hair with a bonnet or a silk scarf. So I hope this video was helpful to someone. Even if you're a bit chopped already, still take these things into consideration. So if there are any other tips or advice or something that you experience or is experiencing right now, if you've big chopped already or you're thinking of doing it, leave it in the comment section below. 
If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't as yet. It's the red and white button just below this video. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye!